as soon as I look at this question, I already kind of know what I need to think about. I know that the SAT prefers that I keep it short. That's their preferred style, concise. And so one choice, D, is shorter than the others. It's not much shorter, right? Just two words. But following that rule, that style rule, I know that that's probably going to be right. Now, I need to, if I can, justify that choice, right? It's always possible that there's some other grammar rule that means that I need a, a longer answer, right? That those words are necessary, they're performing a function. But because I'm already thinking about keeping it short, my goal has changed. It's not like what sounds good. It's like, well, I need to see, is there, a, is there a reason I can keep these or is there a reason I can delete them? And so if I look at the sentence, mostly what I'm looking for is do we already convey this idea in some way, right? Well, the other word changes, but there, is there really a difference between these three? I mean, they're all about a year. Let's see. When a plant in Seattle, Washington was redesigned for more natural light, the company was able to enjoy annual electricity cost reductions of $500,000. Yeah, annual means something happens every year. So I don't need to repeat that idea. That word annual is getting that across. Every other choice would be redundant. Now, sometimes when we have choices or style questions and we're keeping it short, there isn't some sort of like concrete, quick thing that we can point to to say this is redundant, this is the problem. But a lot of times there are, and you know, this is one of those cases where I can literally point to a word and say, no, this is, we've already said this, we don't need to say it again. And, and that's you know, very common. So ideally, you would find that word. But if you were struggling and having trouble and couldn't really you know, pinpoint it, that's okay. Your best guess is still choice D because we know the SAT prefers that we keep it short.